a tool that Microsoft has provided to help optimize uh, performance of queries is Database Engine Tuning Advisor. Now, let me start by opening up a query, and then I will show you how it works, and we'll talk about some limitations with it. So I'm going to go to File, and I want to open, and I'm going to choose a file off of my desktop, and I've got three different queries here. I'm going to do the production email addresses query, and I'm going to hit Open. That will open the query for us. And we can execute the query and see that it pulls up name, job title, department, start date, email address. In the query definitions here, we can see that we're joining a couple of tables. We're doing an order by and a where to filter things down. Uh, so pretty straightforward query. And it ran pretty quickly. When we show messages, it'll tell us it's 179 rows affected. So, okay. So it's pretty straightforward query. Now, if for some reason, let's say that we've identified that the SQL server is running slowly, and it seems to be running slowly when this uh, query particularly is being ran, this one seems to create some problems for us, and we found that out by looking at our query store statistics, and we've looked at the... Um, activity monitor and seeing that it is one of our more uh, expensive queries to run. So we might want to look at ways that we can improve it. And that's where that database engine tuning advisor comes into play. So I'm going to go to query and I'm going to choose analyze query in the database engine tuning advisor. And this, let me go ahead and maximize this. So we have predefines for us. We can set a session name, and that'll be useful because it'll store the sessions over here, so we can go back and analyze them later. Uh, we It defaults to the database that the query is using. Um, it identifies the workload is going to be a particular query. So we can also set specific tuning options. So what do we want it to look at? Do we want to look at possibly partitioning strategies or physical design structures? to keep in the database, or do we want to look at using indexes? And you'll see we've got some of these uh, set, and we're just going to go with the defaults for this little demonstration. So when I'm happy with everything I wanted to analyze, I'm going to click on Start Analysis. And the Start Analysis will begin running. <laughs> It'll run through about five different steps. It shouldn't take it that long, De depending on the query itself and how big your database is. But this one should just take a few seconds. Okay, and there's our results. So here under recommendations, you see they've made five different recommendations for us, including creating new indexes and new statistics. And in the reports, you'll see the details of it. So it is recommending right here three new indexes, two new uh, statistics that can be created. And on the recommendations, you will see the, so the recommendation is to create on this object, we want to create, and then this index or the statistics. And this tells us the size that it would take. And then over here in the definition, you'll see we have these as links. And if you click this link, it will actually show you the code that will create that. And then you can copy to clipboard and... Uh, paste it into a new query and execute it and it will create that statistic or that index or whatever the recommendation is. Now, it's a great tool. Um, one of the cool things about it is right up here it'll show an estimated 45% improvement. If we do these five things, it thinks we'll get a 45% improvement in the way this query runs. Now, I do want to give you a couple of words of warning. Remember, we're looking at SQL from the perspective of a database administrator, not a database developer. <clears throat> so my recommendation would be to not take these defaults at face value because these indexes and these statistics are designed or recommended for this particular query. You can theoretically add so many indexes that you over-index your database and you can create more problems down the road. So my recommendation, if you are the DBA and not the DBD, the administrator, not the developer, would be to take this information 
save it, which it's automatically going to save for you, right? So let me close this out. I'll show you what I mean by this. And we say, all right, we've generated this. This was great information. You know what? I'm done with it for the moment. And so we close our database tuning advisor. Well, we can come in later on, go to our tools, database tuning advisor, connect it to our database, and we can see here, this one right here that is already ran, you see that check? This is that saved uh, report, that saved analysis that we did before. So we can look at it, seems like things are running slow, do our investigation, find a particular query, run the database engine tuning advisor, but take this information to the database developer because they may be able to rewrite some of those queries and indexes in a way that would the, remember, these are recommended for this particular query. They might be able to rewrite it in a way that's going to make sense for more queries and have a better, more generalized impact rather than just impacting this one query in particular. So that would be my caution with this. If you're the administrator and not the developer, don't just take the recommendations at face value. Let the developer take those recommendations and apply them in their own way. But it is a great tool for us to be able to research and come up with some potential recommendations on how we can help address the issue of queries running slowly in our database.